Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and countdown video, my final countdown video because the Atlantic hurricane season commences on Thursday. So we're going to be uh, officially entering that time period where we typically see tropical cyclone development. And so in this video, of course, I'm going to be taking you through what is currently happening across the North Atlantic and the Caribbean, the rainfall totals and models are all hinting at development heading to the end of this week and uh, the early part of next week. And so I'll be talking about that as well. So uh, before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so let us go ahead and kickstart things with an infrared view of the North Atlantic. And so here we have lots of colors. Things are looking a little bit messy here because we've got so much activity, uh, especially in the tropical Atlantic where we have all that convective activity in association with our tropical waves. And so one of the waves, the first wave of the season has entered the Caribbean, but uh, there isn't too much happening with it. Uh, we're going to be zooming into the region very shortly. Shortly, but uh, there is location for other three waves. Let's go to northeastern South America and uh, we can see here that there isn't too much activity taking place along these areas. We've definitely got uh, some convective activity done in Venezuela in association with that tropical wave. But as for Guyana, uh, not too much happening. Same story for Suriname and especially for French Guiana. Not seeing anything much in the region. But that other tropical wave is just uh, entering the northeastern part of South America. So we're not seeing where too much is going on with it up into the vicinity of Trinidad. You guys more than likely received some rainfall activity earlier this morning. You can let me know in the comments. Uh, but we see that uh, that activity is moving away from the island. So let's go ahead and hop into the Caribbean. And so here we're seeing the region. Lots of activity across the areas, especially down in the southern Caribbean where we have Colombia. Lots of showers and thunderstorms taking place. So we also see that activity extended into Jamaica and even going into parts of eastern Cuba as well as Hispaniola and we also see all that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place in the vicinity of the Bahamas. Looking over into the east, uh, just south of Puerto Rico, we can definitely see some shower and thunderstorm activity but uh, things are pretty much clear for the most part. Maybe some passing clouds at the most uh, but nothing too much happening over in the east. Looking over into the west, we've got some activity moving across the Yucatan. Not seeing much happening for Belize this morning or other areas such as Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and even going down into some sections of Costa Rica, but of course for Panama, lots of activity within the area. And so guys, uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall totals and after which we're going to be uh, talking briefly about the hurricane season, which is about to uh, begin in the coming days. And so uh, here we're first looking at the icon and of course, as this map becomes more colorful, the rainfall total is higher and this is what is expected as we progress throughout today. And the model is expecting that uh, across the northern Caribbean, we will be seeing quite a bit of rainfall activity across sections of uh, Eastern Cuba, Jamaica, maybe portions of Hispaniola going to Puerto Rico, but for other areas such as the Virgin Islands, the Leeward Islands, uh, the Cayman Islands, and going to Western Cuba, not seeing where too much is expected. Uh, over into the vicinity of Central America, we can see that not much rainfall activity is expected either, maybe just some pop-up showers or so as we head throughout today. Heading down in the south, going to so uh, Northern South America, we can see that rainfall activity is likely uh, throughout most of these territories going to the ABC Islands, not seeing much for you guys uh, down there and uh, down into the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago. Icon is expecting that a bit more rainfall is likely within this area here. And also for uh, Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana. Moving on to the Euro, pretty much the same thing anticipated here in terms of which areas will likely be receiving uh, rainfall activity as we progress throughout today. All right, and so let's now go ahead and talk about the hurricane season. So if you didn't watch last week's video where I spoke about Noah's prediction, here is a reminder of it. So uh, overall, Noah is expected that there will be around 12 to 17 named storms, of which 5 to 9 could become hurricanes and 1 to 4 major hurricanes. And so... Uh, 
They are also calling for equal chances of seeing an above or below normal season, but a 40% chance of seeing a near normal season. So very interesting here. And so uh, there are conditions that would counteract development in terms of uh, the increased wind shear expected to be induced by El Nino conditions, especially as we had to late especially as we head to later this year. But one major factor that fuels tropical cyclone development is the warm sea surface temperatures. And so as we look at the sea surface temperature map here, uh, we can see that things are warming up nicely across the Western Atlantic. And uh, this is going to be the continuous trend as we head deeper into the hurricane season. And of course, over in the Eastern Pacific, you might be looking there and saying, wow, yeah, 31 degrees Celsius over there. Very, very warm, but uh, no disturbances over there at the moment and so uh, I also want to make mention of the Saharan earlier once again so around this time last year there was a lot of Saharan dust being very very prevalent and now notice how much rainfall is occurring across parts of the Caribbean why because we don't have too much dry air uh, from that Saharan dust uh, infiltrating the region and suppressing rainfall activity now let's go ahead and see what the different models are expecting. So uh, if you're not familiar with this map here, those black lines that you see, those wiggly lines, they're called isobars. Now those join areas of equal pressure. Now when we see them being closed in a circular manner with a pressure, which is that number you see, of at least 1030 millibars or lower than that, uh, that is a low pressure system and it can sometimes be our tropical cyclones. And so uh, the greens that you see, the different colors the green yellow orange uh, that is just the precipitation rate so there is the forecast time the date up there so let's see what uh, the Canadian model has to show and here we have it the model is expecting that we will be seeing something developing in the vicinity of the Caribbean going to Jamaica Cuba uh, overall showing increased rainfall for the region and also in the vicinity of Florida we see that the model is expecting something there as well the GFS model is expecting that increase in rainfall activity across the Caribbean heading to the latter part of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and eventually chose that low pressure area developing outside the Caribbean and making its way up to the uh, northeast. The Euro model is also showing an increase in rainfall activity, but showing a low pressure area developing just in the vicinity of Florida. We actually see two systems. There is a second one. And this honestly wouldn't be surprising because as I mentioned yesterday, if you watched yesterday's update, uh, we typically see the northwestern Caribbean, the Gulf, and off the southeastern coast as areas to watch during the early part of the hurricane season. And here we have some model consistency about something as we're going to be heading into the next several days. Going on to I. Uh, there it is showing something developing in the Gulf, showing that increased rainfall activity, uh, possibly across uh, sections of the Northern Caribbean. But uh, this is very, very interesting here, how we have all these models hopping on. But it's that time of year. It's about to begin. There is no going back. And so, guys, if you are in uh, Florida or even the Bahamas, I would say you definitely want to keep an eye on things. But of course, that is what my channel does. I'm here to keep you guys updated on a daily basis uh, on what is happening and what is expected to happen in the future and so that is pretty much it for this update and i hope that you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise